I think Americans are more than ready for um, small cars. The reality of it is the small car segment is exploding and it's a perfect opportunity for us to bring back the Fiat 500 to America. So 500 came as a, an idea to, to reevaluate the, the, the most iconographic car in the history of Fiat and probably the most famous uh, car as a small package in the world. So it's the car that uh, solves and fixes problems the car that fits perfectly in your life. Most people, the minute you say Italian by design, think of beautiful workmanship and craftsmanship. And again, those are things that are usually find, found in very high-end products, whether it's shoes or handbags. Even in the automobile industry, the Italian design cars are quite expensive, and we're able to bring that design and that beauty and those elements at a much more affordable price for the American consumer. The, the car has uh, the maximum use of the space, and also its uh, coupe shape doesn't compromise the, the livable space inside, even for the rear occupants. Uh, this car uh, is sleek, simple, easy to use, a pure no-no-sense design, and is very similar to the, to the masterpiece of Jonathan Ive, the iPod. Um, on the interior, we made some adaptations also for the American consumer. Um, the glove box, they didn't have a glove box in Europe. We know that in America we like to keep things in the car, so we made sure that we had a glove box. The seats had been made a little bit more comfortable because our driving distances in the U.S. are a little bit longer. We've added an armrest, and that's important because the one thing that we've also added that they don't have in Europe is the six-speed automatic transmission. The personalization story on the Cinquecento is awesome. We have 14 exterior colors, 11 interior colors, and a bunch of different graphics packages so that you can truly make this a unique vehicle. Actually, there's over 500,000 ways that you can build this vehicle, so there, there may never be two alike on the streets. We started at the beginning studying the, the Cinquecento as a very international uh, concept. Uh, and even in New York, we made the first researches of the new habits, new uh, study on the trends. So the Cinquecento, it contains some of the, the American feelings on the new, on the new, and the things to come. And, and this was evaluated and studied, you know, in the time where we presented the car as a concept in Geneva, 2004. So this is a good destiny of the car to be again here. It's not about a good deal, it's about having something that is a timeless beauty that has become a valuable piece of your life.